what is like your way of helping people from a mindset, talked about personal development, into their mental health arena with the Lord? Yeah, it, it's true. And I mean, I think that the, that passage of scripture, take captive every thought and make it obedient mm -hmm. to Christ is like kind of has to become a, a narrative. Yeah. <laughs> like, but because the negative thoughts, I mean, we all know, well, we know the stats just yeah. on the of negative thoughts that just go through our mind. And so um, I, this will not be new to you, um, probably not even your listeners, but like having a deciding, deciding to have a consistent time. I don't even want to call it a power hour um, because I know that just even the thought of an hour daily will begin the negative mindset and the like down the spiral of so many. But um, I, we have, I have had to come to a place and I have to, gu and I guide people. We have to meditate upon the word of God. Mm. Like, yeah. and even if that means getting the Bible app, the U version Bible app and doing the five minutes, like read the scripture, yeah. listen to the person that's talking about the scripture and then like reading the devotion that goes with the scripture. I mean, that takes five minutes because without that, we, yeah. there, there is, we will be a, we will be a mess. Now I am a big believer in counseling. I am personally not a counselor. I go to counseling and yeah. I, I end up referring a ton of my clients. I think it's time for a counselor. Like yeah. this is great. We've got great habits in place for your, um, you know, your, your physical health. We have great, even some great habits in place with journaling and having a friend and fitness and all of these things. Perhaps now it's time to talk to somebody that can help you bring tr like whole healing. Um, so I'm a big proponent for that, but I mean, the, the habits of health are essential and key. And then meditating upon God's word, honestly, breath prayers are a big one for me because again, like my mom is a total intercessor. It is not uncommon for me to call home, home, my old home, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mama's home. And, uh, my parents are both retired. My dad tends to be the one that answers yeah. these days. It's hilarious. I'm like, oh, your mom's in the garage. That has been my mom's space as long oh. as I can. She would go to the garage and pray. She's a true intercessor. I'm not. Right. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I, so I have actually, like, I mean, I probably should be. But I'm not spending hours, yeah. like, on my knees like that. And But I do these breath prayers. One is like, the Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. I love that. I, oh, and I will, it's, it's rooted in scripture, but I will just inhale. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. And I went through a season of having panic attacks oh. and I would have to just like pull the car over and the Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need to, there's, there's science to that in, uh, in breathing that yeah. calms my, the back of my brain and gets me back in alignment. And then it's the truth of God's word instead of whatever story I was telling myself and however the enemy would love to use the story that I'm telling myself, you can combat that with truth because that's, that is real. Mm. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. That's beautiful. I've never heard of a breath prayer before. I'm like, do you have more? Can I get them on your podcast? <laughs> have more. Yes. And that's so good. Yeah, yeah it, I know how critical breath work is, and I obviously know how critical prayer is, but I've never heard of it like combined like that. Okay, well, I actually shared one today that I do for my nice. kids, like on, on Instagram, um, and it's just like, "Lord, guide me, so I can guide the hearts of my kids." It takes away some fear. That's so okay, because guide me, God. You know, and that one's not necessarily scripture; it's a biblical yeah. principle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something because I've had a few middle of the night wake ups. I'm parenting teens. And they're making big decisions. And I'm like, I can I can wake up with a little bit of fear. And I'll yeah. name that. Like, it's a spirit. So, okay, yeah. spirit, spirit, you don't belong I'm here. Good. Yeah. And then go back to sleep. It's like, okay, God, just keep guiding me as yeah. I guide the heart of my kids. And that's just, that's my job. That's all that he, that's, that's all he purges me. Yeah. And he loves me. So, yes, I have more. I have more. <laughs> oh, good. I love that so much. It's so peaceful and we need more peace, right, y'all? I think as as we're closing this out, Jen, I want people to, one, be able to connect with you, but like where from all, I mean, because you do so many different options and people obviously can hear that there's an opportunity to work alongside you from a health coaching arena. I want to talk a little bit about how your husband has been aligned to that 
and what you all do together. I am a huge proponent of like hubbies and wives being able to actually have an element of ministry together. And obviously, is he still pastoring a church full time? We resigned in 2019. Wow. Okay. So tell me what what's what does life look like? Yeah, life has been wild. Oh my uh, gosh. Yeah. So just quickly, he resigned yeah. in 2019 at the very end, like Christmas yeah. season with our last services with the intent to take a sabbatical and maybe three months, six months. Yep. And then the pandemic. Uh, there was a moment of panic, like, what am I going to do? But then it was almost like, well, everybody else was really losing and yeah. re- wrestling with the loss. And for us, it almost became relief. Like so peaceful. And yeah. I, there was a moment, it was like, oh, welcome world. Welcome yeah. to this. You know, because we had, uh, the church had been honestly our, via, like our, the vehicle by which we fulfilled our, yeah. our calling. Yeah, of course. Uh, so that was gone. Yeah. And the community. Now we could, our, we just went to the 10 year anniversary, in fact, a couple of weeks ago, and it's beautiful. And the harvest that the Lord is, it's beautiful. It's wonderful. Yeah. And um, probably the most healthy departure I've ever had from a space. Yeah. So yeah, wonderful, but appropriate yeah. to actually like go find new community and let them be, you know, yes. let them be. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. We're not going to come and just be like, sit on the front row, like, how you doing? <laughs> doesn't work like that. We need to make a clean break. Leave and Um, leave. (laughs) Yes. Yes. So, I mean, so we'd lost a lot. Yeah. Um, Now I will say my, my health coaching business did really spike in that season. I think it was just front of mind for so many people. Um, I was, I already could reach people around the nation. So it, I had, there was easy access to me. Um, And a lot of his um, leadership gifting, a lot of his, um, ability to really, uh, train and teach people came into play. So he, he began to have a voice in my business, um, more and more. Um, but now, and so, and then as a result of that, we ended up launching a podcast together. So we do have the significant life podcast. Um, and we've done a few retreats together and, and things like that. He's done some more in the business space, right. um, helping people put pr- biblical principles into their businesses. Um, but he just now, three years, um, he needed to go through some healing himself. Like yeah. we're big on taking personal responsibility and finding the whole health that we need. So yeah. he, he got that time and he is now re-entering into um, more of a consulting role with some churches and things like that. So, so he's cool. actually kind of re-entering there. Uh, I have come to like him in my, like my businesses and I still need a lot of what he offers, even yeah. in my like significant um, space. Right. And the I do there, he's really helpful um, on the, like the strategic side. Yeah. He's great at structures and systems. So cool. he's still doing a lot on the back end, but he's, He's moving forward, putting his face in faces now. 